uh, 8910, and they were telling me about Vladimir Putin and how nobody wants to fight for him, and they're running hide, hiding, they're running down the roads in their vehicles, trying to get on a train, get on a plane, and there's traffic jams trying to get out of that country because they're afraid they're going to be drafted. Vladimir now, Putin. What, yeah, right. But all of the all the flights were like sold out or something, or they're not letting they're not letting uh, young men get on uh, flights out of Russia. Yeah, and it, they also said that there there's a new app out there on their 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 Russian cell phones, which is probably a, a what is it a string and a, a, a cuff at the end or something. <laughs> no, they probably they probably have phone technology, uh, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They said there's there's an app on there to teach you how the men can break their arms so they will not have to be drafted into Vladimir Putin's army. I was, I was I was reading that, that Google searches or something for how to break your arm where, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's pretty wild that people are trying to cross the border and uh, they're trying to get the hell out of there. So because they're they've re-upped yeah. their conscription or something. So, um, yeah. yes, that's very, very strange. Quite true that. That's uh that's a heck of a place to live. I must, I must be, you know, so I, I don't know what's going on. Well, over it would there, also but... suck to have to leave your home because of something you have no control over, yeah. you know, like. Exactly. Um, exactly. Yeah. yeah. OK, thank you, Joe. I appreciate the call. Alex Jones is still in court. Um, and saying that he's uh, tired of apologizing and he's not going to do it anymore. He is not going to pay a lot for this muffler. He's I can't keep these uh, court cases straight. It's still Sandy Hook. But I guess the first one was in New York where he got like the forty nine million dollar judgment or something that was in New York. And now he's in Connecticut, which was the home state of Sandy Hook. So I, I think these are still families that are suing him or something. And obviously you want to talk about doing a gig for the money. I uh, have to assume that's why his lawyer is doing it, because anytime they have any kind of conversation with his lawyer, his lawyer is just like, I can't control what my client does. If he's going to be up there doing stuff, I can only advise him, uh, but I can't physically. I'm not my client's keeper, is what his lawyer said. This is the mm -hmm. lawyer who fell asleep one day in court, because when you're representing Alex Jones... You're seeing the same movie over and over and over again, and it probably gets really boring. Uh, but he's um, snapping at the attorneys and the the lawyer, or, or the judge, rather. How long before he's just representing himself? I'm surprised <laughs> he's not already. I don't know why he is going to spend money on lawyers when... He clearly figures to some degree he can do it himself. I don't mm -hmm. know. But the judge is essentially getting herself to the place where she's like, look, I can't um, I can't get a word in edgewise here. I can't, you know, because one lawyer is objecting and the other one's yelling at Alex Jones and it's a whole thing. I don't know how you keep your head on a swivel if you are part of the jury. He's talking to you. The judge is telling him not to talk to you. They played footage of um, one of the distraught parents, and he said that he was done apologizing. See, here's the here's the um, his whole defense is hinged on him claiming that he that you don't know what's in his brain. His whole defense has been, look, I'm being persecuted because I legitimately thought a school shooting was staged, and that's what he stands by. Because you can't prove what was or wasn't in his brain. I don't think anyone, there's no reasonable person who believes that he thought a school shooting was staged. Even Alex Jones. I mean, he knows what's going on. But it's all yelling and screaming. And You have families in this courtroom here that lost children, sisters, wives, moms. Is this a struggle session? Are we in China? I've already said I'm sorry hundreds of times, and, I, and I'm done saying I'm sorry. I didn't progenerate this. I wasn't the first person to say it. American gun owners didn't like being blamed for this. 
as the left did. So we rejected it mentally and said it must not be true. And but I legitimately thought it might have been staged, and I stand by that. And I don't apologize for and, it. And, and don't apologize, Mr. Jones. Please don't apologize. No, I've already apologized to the parents over because and over again. We know your I don't apologize objection. to you. Objection. Don't apologize objection. to you. You're going to do it again. Objection, Judge. Or objection. No, I'm not. Objection, not. argumentative. You don't apologize objection. to you. Hard for me to get a word in it's like a freaking clown show in there. How do you even like do your job it's, as a it lawyer? It doesn't seem like real court. <laughs> no, it doesn't. No, it's pretty wild. But it does make sense that it is Alex Jones in court. I mean, you have to. I mean, just the fact that he says like I apologize all this time, but then I go and then in the same breath says, and I still believe it could have been staged. That's not an apology. No apology. I there. mean, I guess at some point you've yeah. got to double down on what the crux of your whole thing is. You mm-hmm. can, this far into the proceedings, you can't go, okay, fine. Uh, Texas jury, sorry, I think I said New York. That Texas jury was the one that determined that he was going to owe about $50 million. And that's when he claims poverty, too, is when that happens. I th- his, He's got to move some stuff around. Yeah, shell companies and things like that to hide all the money that he says he doesn't have. <laughs> Alex Jones, Alex Jones, Alex Jones, Alex Jones. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the guy. That's the normal guy. That's the toned down version. Right. His ex-wife said he's even crazier off the air. And why would you save? Why would you keep the craziest stuff for off the air? What's rule number one in radio? If if the red light ain't on, it didn't happen. If it didn't happen on the air, it didn't happen. My guess Who cares what happens off the air? The crazier Alex Jones is, the crazy she's referring to is a lot of abusive language and things like that. Probably directed at her. Hmm. Probably a little bit more racist, a little bit more. Loud noises! You know, yeah, just, but he married a white lady. Like, why, they have a white kid. Where's the racism part coming off the like, air? He probably feels more comfortable using certain words off the air. Huh. Certain language off the air. I love black people! I don't know if that's what he's saying. That's, that's a live of Alex yeah. Jones talking to his wife. I love black people! Yeah, I don't know what she's complaining about. The judge asking the lawyer, do you want me to physically stop your client from speaking? I don't know how you do that. Oh, boy. So that continues. You might now, be the first person to get tased during a <laughs> court hearing. Well, listen, you know, he put out that uh he put out that album to generate some money a while ago where he did cover versions of songs. Maybe this will inspire him to do original music. Ooh. You know, if he could just channel his pain into his own music rather than covering other people's. Obviously, it's fun to hear somebody uh, give a new take on a song that you already know. That's part of the hook. I I hurt myself today. Right, we know that one. <laughs> you know. Oh baby, baby, oops! I did it again. I play with your heart. Got lost in the game. Oh a, baby, baby. Show support I... <laughs> to end the conservatorship for Britney. That's, That's right. Those. That was his hashtag free Britney moment. Been around the world, and I found out that only stupid people are breeding. Those cretins are cloning and feeding. And I don't even own a TV. So I hope that he made some money from those. It seems like some days he's more dialed in than others. <laughs> That's probably true. <laughs> I found my new favorite person on TikTok, by the way. We're on TikTok at The Alan Cox Show. Oh, yeah. And I found my new favorite person because she's speaking my language. This is a girl that everybody's giving a hard time for. Just like they gave me a hard time the other day for stopping the pay it forward line. Because, Uh frankly, the people behind you will never know that you stopped the pay it forward. There couldn't be a more victimless crime than opting to not continue the pay it forward line. It's invariably in a Starbucks, just like hers, exactly the same. But... I like her vibe. I like her explanation of it. She is cute. She refers to herself as a hot girl, but she is cute. She's kind of got like a college volleyball player vibe. Grace Joanna is her handle on TikTok. 
So today I went to the Starbucks drive-thru to get my little drink and sandwich as a hot girl does. And I go to the barista to pay and he goes, you don't have to pay me today. And I'm like, Tim, stop freaking messing with me. You always mess with me like this. He's like, you don't have to pay me. The person in front of you paid for your drink and food as a nice gesture. And I was like, this is an epic day. Today's my best day ever. People are so kind. Wow. And then he drops this bomb. He says, yeah. So for every five people in front of you, they return the gesture back. So you're telling me that these people were shamed and caught into this Congo line of morality that they had to give the gesture back? <laughs> I'm not that girl. I deserve to have a good day. Mm -hmm. I deserve this free sandwich, dude. You're not taking <laughs> this away from me. That defeats the whole point of someone doing something nice for me. I am the one that was helped. And I am not helping anyone else. <laughs> I feel I her. love it. That would be literally surprisingly. I, there are people that are giving a hard time, but surprisingly, a lot of the comments are, are like, are, "Yes, are you're outside. right. Like, yeah. what's the point of doing something nice if you're shamed into?" I deserve this. Here's the thing: every dude. time I've done, I don't understand the concept of deserve, but still, it's like you know, I don't. I stop the pay it forward line. I've asked to pay. They're like, "Oh, the person in front of you paid." I go, uh, "No." But too obviously, late. It's, it's, it's too late. Yeah. But the people behind you will never know that you stopped. Unless that, unless you get a snippy. A snitch. That's why I tip. A snitch of a barista. That's, well, that's why I tip oh, when I stop. I oh. tip them so that they don't rat me out. I mean, the people behind me don't know who I am, obviously. I'm just another car. But I could see some snippy barista in the window or anywhere this happens going, well, the guy, you're never going to believe this. this. in front of us. Right. Like, By that time. douchebag with I'm, a white socks, yep. license plate holder, <laughs> didn't pay for my coffee. Joke's on you. I switched it to the Bears. Oh, it's the Bears already. Sucker. Okay. Yeah. That's right. It's football season, baby. So I like this girl. Big fan. Started following her immediately. Let's see what other truth. You think you're the only one dropping truth bombs? Let's see what other truth she's, bombs this she's woman's bringing it. dropping. Uh, a lot of the comments say you tip the barista, which I'm a fan of. I've done the pay it forward thing, but it's not when I, someone's paid for me. I've just randomly been like, you know what? I'm going to take care of the people really? behind me. Really? Yeah. Oh, you've started it. I'm not even start. I'm just doing it. I just go, eh, I'm feeling generous today. I'm going to pay for their food. Right. How much is it? And they'll be like, $45. I'm like, you know what? But Never most mind. Uh, but tell them I thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> but most people don't have the bravery or the wherewithal to that I do to stop the pay it forward. So you know, as she describes, people get shamed into it primarily. So if you right. start it, there's going to be a certain number of people behind you that will continue it. The Wendy's I go to, I think it's a one and done situation. <laughs> you know what? I don't let think me get, anybody's paying it for it. Let me get going, their spicy nuggets. They're going, yep. Yeah. Thank you for paying for my food, and I'm out of here. Yeah. By the way, somebody texted me, 35192, and they pointed out, Ivana Trump died from falling down the stairs. Very suddenly. I wonder if she, you think that had anything to do, you think that was Putin sending him a message? Hey, you don't start doing, uh, producing for me more. Like you got more all those of boxes of stuff, and you're selling them to the Saudis? What the hell are you doing? Where's my cheese, homie? Send him a little message. Maybe. Could be the thing. It's live audio of Ivana. May she rest in peace. So all these On a golf course. <laughs> all these Russians getting pushed downstairs, defenestrated. Uh, maybe he was sending a message to the Trump crime family that... Uh, be a shame if something. Be a shame if something happened to your mother. Mm. 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 Alan, why does it matter? Who knows? It's a test. The aliens know. What? What do you do? I don't believe that the aliens, if they exist, are watching us. Why wouldn't they? I think that they're because I think they're preparing other things. Do you stand there and watch an ant hill? Some you, people do. They but yeah, but, but they, you, there might be an alien, and that's their job is to watch people and see how they're reacting and see how they do certain things yeah and one of the tests is maybe that this is how humanity is judged by aliens they go all right we're gonna put this in the place we're gonna start the whole pay it forward 
drive through line thing, and we're going to see how humans react to it. And if we don't pass the test as a whole, they go, you had your chance, Earthlings. You're done. Hmm. You didn't pay it forward enough. So thanks a lot, Alan. Well, oh, thanks a this lot. Is, this is on me. Yeah, I, It's on you and people that think like you. Th- there was a time uh, where I had a lady in front of me, and she bought my Chipotle, and then she gave me a card that had, like, that said, like, pay it, paying it forward. Like, if you received this card, that means someone paid it forward to you. Keep it going and be a good person. I still have that card. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> eventually I'll use it. Uh, I did not pay it forward that day, and this was back when I lived in Akron. So, It's been some time. Why do you still have it then? Because one day it's going to pay it forward one to day. somebody. I, don't, if, I mean, if you haven't now. But yeah, but you don't need a card to do that. It, I don't I don't know. Why keep the card was it, my point. It wasn't an official card. And I and like I looked in my wallet for it, but I don't I don't think it's in there. But I know I didn't use I didn't give it to someone else. He knows he didn't pay it forward. He knows that. I know I didn't pay it forward. Mm-hmm. I know I didn't pay because that's corny. I'm not gonna pass someone a card like, hey, someone just paid it forward. It it, lo- it looked just like a business card. Like uh, make sure you if you pass this card to the next person to keep it going and do do some good or whatever. That's what that's like what it said. And I'm like, I'm not going to I'm not going to do that. I would rather pay it forward and not give someone a card than pay it forward and give someone a card. That's so corny to me. So even if I did do it, I would not give them that stupid little card. <laughs> hey, Andrew. Hey, how's it going? What's up, man? Hey, uh, I just it's not a pay it forward or anything. I was uh, behind this lady in the bank teller line one time. And she was trying to get like 30 bucks out or something. And the lady, the teller said, ma'am, you're already overdrafted by like 50. We can't give you any money. So she pulled across the street. She, I saw her. She was on her phone crying and all this stuff. I walked up to her. I gave her 100 bucks. And it was just brightened her day. And uh, that's the, the better pay it forward thing rather than buying somebody's coffee. That made my day, too. Yeah, I think so. I mean, a, a kind of a more um, a more direct approach, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, th- but yeah, I just wanted to share that. All I, right, thank you, uh, Andrew. I appreciate it. I had a similar thing like that happen where I was behind a girl at the bank and overdrafted. Same thing. She's crying and uh, she she's in her car, and uh, I just go up to her and I say. Uh, your left tail light is out, and I alerted the police, and they wrote you a ticket. <laughs> uh-huh. so, when that's, it rains, it pours, lady. Get really, used to reality. Really nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Take that, snowflake. <laughs> Intent, our buddy Intense Randy texted me, and he's like, so I'm at the convenience store or whatever, the gas station. There's a couple of kids in front of me, and they got chips and drinks and jerky or whatever. And they're $4.80 short. This is according to him. How would you not know what your stuff cost? Whatever. So he fronts him the four eighty, dollars because he's behind him. He's like, hey, don't worry about it. He's a nice guy. The guy goes, hey, thanks. The girl doesn't even turn around to see who paid for it. And he's like, and nobody behind me was offering to pay for my stuff. So I think in person, for whatever reason, people are less likely to do it. I think it's the... It's almost backwards that the anonymity in line adds to it. Adds to it, and I don't know why that would be because everybody's always looking for credit. I saw a people guy, want a pat on the back for the smallest goddamn things. I saw a girl using self checkout at CVS, and she was two dollars short, and a guy just hands her two dollars. Like he didn't even make a big deal of it, right? And it was just and he just was like, "Oh, here's two dollars," because she was she asked the CVS clerk if. She could use a card and and before the CVS guy could even react, the guy's like, here's two dollars. Just don't worry about it. That could also so it's very nice. It's very nice, but it yeah. could also backfire. Because mm-hmm. you could have somebody like, I don't want your money. Right. And then you feel like a douche. It's like when you get screamed at for holding the door for somebody, like, okay, I, I'm sorry. What you know, slam it in your face, you would have been screaming too. I don't know. What a complicated, crazy world. Hey, Roman. What's going on, guys? How are you? How are you? What's up? Doing well. Uh, I think the aliens have one true uh, morality test that they put us through on a daily basis for yep. some people, um, and that is the uh, the shopping cart theory. What you do with your shopping cart when you're done with it, um, 
whether or not you're at Aldi or not, um, is is how you tell somebody's moral standing. Do you just leave it on the side for somebody to bump into it or for it to roll into somebody's car? Um, you know, making somebody's work, maybe one of the workers' days more difficult. Do you put it where it's supposed to go? Do you give it to somebody else? Um, I like that dude yeah, on TikTok that's like a shopping cart narc, oh, sure. and he yeah. walks up to people. Cart narcs, man. Yeah, once in a they while there'll be heated. oh, there'll be a dude yeah. in a, like an F one fifty who gets out and puts a shotgun in his face. But it's a little old lady sometimes. Yeah, cart narcs. That's a funny thing. <laughs> I'm a cart putting back guy. I'm the guy that will go to the cart corral and like straighten those carts, like get them all yeah. in line because then the kid comes you out and has to hook it to the machine yeah. and. So um, uh, hopefully that'll save me from uh, a probing I uh, when like they finally that. do show up, Roman. <laughs> now the, the to one your thing, logic there. the one thing that I'll do that isn't the best thing, but it just makes it a little bit more fun, is if the corral is empty or there's only one or two carts in it, I will try my best. If, and there's also got to be no cars around, so I can't hit anything. I'll try and ghost my cart from pretty far away to see if I can get it to go into the corral. <laughs> yeah. Cause you, that's try, you try to Tetris fun. your cart in there. Yeah. Yeah. And then, but that's only, that's a rare occasion because you need a pretty empty parking lot mm-hmm. for that to happen without it. And you don't want somebody pulling out right as you get the right. cart over near the corral. That's like, no good either. Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to take a break. I will have those AWOL Nation tickets for you if you want to go see. Those guys are coming through to do a show at the Agora in a few weeks with Bad Flower and the Mysterines. So we'll hook that up. 35192, you want to text, and uh, we'll be back. This is The Alan Cox Show. Everywhere on our free iHeartRadio app or whatever smart device you have. 